Hi friends, what's up? This is Arcade from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to show how you can view and manage apps that you use with sign in with Apple. Both iOS and iPadOS offer a pretty straightforward way to manage apps that you use with Apple ID. So, depending on your needs, you can hide your email or completely stop using any app with sign in with Apple feature. That said, let me show you how it works. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. To begin with steps loan settings app on your iPhone or iPad then tap on your profile. Now you have to tap on password and security. Then you have to tap on apps using your Apple ID. Now you would see the list of all the apps that you use with sign in with Apple. To view the information you originally shared with an app, select any app in the list. You can also view a link to the app's privacy policy or terms and conditions. If you chose to hide your email address from an app and use your private email relay service, you can turn off email forwarding to your personal email address. You can also choose to stop using your Apple ID with an app or website. If you want to stop using your Apple ID with an app or website, all you have to do is simply tap on the specific app then tap on stop using Apple ID. And if you want to stop many apps from using your Apple ID, all you have to do is tap on the edit button at the top right corner of the screen. Then you have to tap on the minus red button to the left of the app in question. And then you have to tap on delete to confirm that you don't want to use your Apple ID with with the app or website. It's worth noting that when you stop using your Apple ID with an app, you are signed out of the app on your device. The next time you visit the app or its associated website, you can either select sign in with Apple to sign in again or create a new account. If you choose to use sign in with Apple again, you are signed in to the same account you previously used. Some apps might let you create a new password for your existing account so you can sign in again without using your Apple ID. Do note that some developers might use sign in with Apple to give you an account for more than one app. If that's the case and you turn off email forwarding or stop using your Apple ID for one app, it applies to all apps from that developer. That's pretty much it. So that's the way you can view and manage apps that you use with sign in with Apple on your iPhone or iPad. Now that you know how this tip works, make the most of it to manage all the apps proficiently and i'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks till then have a wonderful time bye bye